All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Uh, today I want to talk about power stroke injectors. And uh, <clears throat> I got really interested in this and went down a rabbit hole. I was fine with putting my truck back together with stock injectors. But then I started looking around and kind of figured out that there's a bunch of information out there if you look hard enough on how to build your own bigger injectors for different 7.3 power stroke uh, power levels or injector sizes. I'm no expert on this. I've just kind of dug deep and found things. What kind of struck me is I found a lot of the people who sell you injectors nowadays for $1,200, $2,000 or anywhere in between uh, were the same people posting on these 15 year old forum threads learning how to build injectors. So. One of the things that I found in life and hot rodding all together is always the hot rod parts are generally just a modified version or a stock version of some other application, right? Like 210 Bosch injectors exist because there's some application mass production that needs them. Um, and I found the same to be true with power stroke injectors. So, and I, I've already taken mine apart and they break down with hand tools, so like there's no reason why you can't do this yourself. So, let's get into it. Uh, what we have, if you have a power stroke, um, if you have an OBS like mine, you have an AA code injector for the most part. There's a certain 97 California truck, but we're just gonna say everybody has AA codes. Um, those are 90 cc's, excuse me, those are 90 cc's of fuel. And that the cc's is apparently calculated over a thousand injector cycles, but basically the injector injects 90 cc's of fuel. Those are AA code, they say AA right on the top of the solenoid. They'll say AA blah, blah, blah. Um, if you have a Super Duty, you have AD, and then you'll oftentimes, I believe, like cylinder eight, they put AE or AF codes um, those are 135 to 140 cc, depending on the source, split shot injectors, which means that they shoot a little tiny lead-in shot, and then they shoot their main shot. You can go online and off the shelf, you can buy an AC code, which is a T444E high torque injector. That's 160 cc single shot. That is a stock injector for the box truck, medium duty, uh, other equipment, maybe school buses, I don't really know. But they will, again, say AC. People will go online and use the company Alliant to buy these. Um, I believe Alliant was a supplier. I'm not really sure. But they'll, they'll buy these brand new. I think they're like 17, 1800 bucks. And the, the argument is that you can get a 160 cc injector off the shelf anywhere in the country. Um, the other engines that use the Huey style injectors use B codes and they are BA through BN. Most of those are similar to the A code different stuff. We'll get into the numbers shortly. The BD is the magic one if you really want big, big injectors. Um, and all of this is just stock part stuff. There's guys out there with like 300cc, 200% nozzles. That's all custom machine. I'm talking in this video about things that you can make by just buying the right parts or buying the right injectors and mixing them up. So, an AA code is a 6mm OD plunger, a standard barrel, and an intensifier piston of an, with an outside diameter of 16mm and it's 32.2mm long. Okay. AC code injectors are a 6mm, all of the trucks are the 16 millimeter OD barrel and plunger, by the way, pickup trucks. An AC code is the exact same thing as an AA code, except the intensifier piston is 29.7 millimeters long. The AE, I don't know why I wrote this, I should have wrote AE through AF. Um, the Super Duty injectors flow 135 to 140 cc. They use a six millimeter plunger and a 16 millimeter OD intensifier piston, but they have a prime barrel, which means there's a little groove machined in it. So as it's traveling through, 
and a long card of groove, and that's that's your prime shot, and then it'll come all the way out and, and shoot his main shot. Uh, so they have an intensifier piston OD of 16 millimeters, and they're only 29.1 millimeters long, so they're almost 3.1 millimeters shorter than an AA code. The BD is all the B series injectors using a 7.1 millimeter OD plunger and the intensifier piston is 17.5 millimeters and then the length varies within. Uh, the BD is a 2.93 millimeter length intensifier piston. To go sideways for a moment here, the nozzles, the zero, you'll see people say they have a 180-0 or a 160-30 or, or whatever. The 0, 30, 80, 100 are the amount oversized from stock. Another thing you'll see people refer to often is the pulse width, which is the commanded open time of the injector. That's measured in milliseconds. Okay, so from what I understand, reading about tuners and stuff from people who tune these that a, a command and pulse width of about three milli you're limited by the amount of time that you have to spray the inch you can command a, a 30 minute pulse width but you only have so much time between the piss for the piston stroke and then a power stroke seven three that winds up being about three milliseconds so for example a 238 100 injector is 238 cc's with a 100% larger than stock nozzle. And what that means, what these oversized nozzles mean is you run into the barrier where you can't empty a 160 cc or 180, 160 you can empty with a zero nozzle apparently. Um, 180 you can't quite empty in the amount of pulse width time that you have. So it's more advantageous to go to a larger nozzle than 230 you can't empty in that amount of time or that amount of time you need like an 80 100 um, so what can we make with the information that we have and there will be a second video where I actually build the injectors and there may be there may be follow-up videos if this proves popular or helpful for people I guess I don't really care if it's popular if there are people out here who want want to build their own injectors and don't want to pay so much money um, I'm happy to make more content and help you guys out. So you can take Super Duty injectors and plop them in an OBS and you'll need tuning, but you'll get a bump to 140 cc's immediately. It's 50 cc's more fuel. Um, you'll have to have a Hydra or something tuned for the split shots, but then you'll be able to run those higher tunes. Like you'll see OBS guys saying that they can, they're can they limited to like 80 horsepower tunes. That's because they're limited to 80 horsepower worth of fuel fuel with their 90 cc uh, injector so the super duty guys can run hotter tunes they can get more tune only power because they have more fuel available an OBS injector with nothing more which is what I'm building nothing more than a 29.7 millimeter intensifier piston will make a 160 zero injector just like that um, I bought my intensifier pistons from HD Pros, they're Interstate McBee, they're out of Cleveland, Ohio. I had them like two days. Uh, they're 20 bucks a piece. So, an OBS main body with a 29.1 millimeter intensifier piston will make a 180 zero injector. Same, a Super Duty injector actually has 29.1 millimeter intensifier pistons. So you can take the prime barrel out, make your injector a single shot, and it'll auto, if you have a Super Duty, and it will become a 160cc single shot. If you had a pair of Super Duty injectors and a pair of AA code OBS injectors, and you took the intensifier pistons out of the Super Duty and you put them in the OBS, bam, you got a 180cc. I was trying to do that from the junkyard, but they go quick in the junkyard. Um, any 7.3 injector from a truck, a pickup, and you take a BD code piston and barrel will be a hybrid. That gets you to, without doing anything else, if you take the piston barrel and the, I believe it's the 
29.7 millimeter intensifier piston, that gives you your 238cc injector. The other thing is, it'll be a hybrid. When people talk about hybrid injectors, they're talking about the B-series piston and barrel and the A-series injector. The multiplication ratio between the piston and barrel of a B-series is lower than the A-series. The A-series is 7.1, so it multiplies your H-pop inject pressure times 7 whereas a B-series only multiplies it times five. So it takes less high pressure oil pump oil to feed a hybrid than it does a standard injector, which is why you'll see the charts like Bitterroot has the testing where you know they show 180 and it spikes and then the H-pop can't keep up and that's where people need aftermarket stage one H-pops or whatever. Whereas with a hybrid, you wouldn't necessarily. So, to make all this kind of clear, hopefully, just real simple, this is the AC code on the right. You can see that it's shorter, uh, 1.5 millimeters. You can actually take yours and machine them down. It's about 98 uh, thousandths. And you can machine them down, or you can just buy them, like I said, for 20 bucks. So. What all this means to get to the point is the way that I came to the conclusion that I did, or this kind of this page kind of shows the conclusions that I've come to. By taking an AA injector and an AC injector, I know that the only difference between the two of them is the intensifier piston. It's 32.2 millimeters in the AA versus 29.7 in the AC. This tells me that a 2.5 millimeter reduction in height gives me a 70 cc increase in fuel. We, went, we go from 90 cc to 160 cc. You do a bunch of math, you figure out that for every 10 cc's of fuel you want, you have to short the, shorten the tensifier piston by 0.357143 millimeters. You can convert that out to English if you want, or for your machinist you'll have to. Um, there is a limit. There's a limit to how short you can make that without the springs binding up and things like that inside. And I'm going to tell you that that limit is going to be 29.1 millimeters because that's the lowest stock. You can probably go further and people probably did. Um, but the fact that there's a 29.1 millimeter intensifier piston out there stock for the Super Duty injectors tells me, tells me that that will work for sure. Um, and for anything else, I don't see why you wouldn't just jump up to a hybrid if you wanted to um, it's just cheaper well it's easier it's easier than going in there and trying to shim stuff uh, I jacked this off Bitterroot site you can buy some of these parts from Bitterroot if you want um, I'll have links to the nozzles which they offer pretty affordably the intensifier pistons I would buy from HD pros and I'll put a link to that nobody sponsors me nobody gives me anything for free I just buy this shit with my own money but uh apparently they jacked it from gearhead automotive and these are kind of the rough guides to what your power versus your injector size will get you uh 90 cc with a stock nozzle which is what i have It'll be about 225 130 cc with a stock nozzle is going to be 260 to 290 that's a super duty a 160 cc with a stock nozzle, which is what I'm going to, will be 325 to 345. And then you get into the oversized nozzles. 160 with 30% nozzle is a bump in power, 350 to 360. Why? Because it can can empty that 160 cc's in a briefer window. This is probably more advantageous. Um, so the piston's not working so hard against it. A 180 cc with a stock nozzle, I personally don't quite see the point of a 180 with a stock nozzle. I don't think it'll empty fast enough and you see it reflected in the power levels there where they have it at 300 to 350. It's actually lower than the 160. Um, a 180, 30, 370 to 390. A 180, 80, 400 to 425. A 230, 385 to 410, 280. And you can get to 200 by uh, using a longer, using the AA code and then machining it down, you get to 205 cc's uh, in a B series plunger and uh, 
piston. The reason that I'm not doing that is because I don't want to do like an all billet transmission and you know I, I don't want to do a bunch of extra crap. I, like, I just want to have a truck that can merge with traffic while hauling a camper while towing a 1988 Toyota 4Runner. Um, anyway, here's the numbers. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the video. So I hope you guys found it interesting or helpful or boring or whatever. Um, I'm going to go out and play in the blizzard. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this knowledge gets out there into the hands of people who want to DIY their own injectors and can do these things. Because you can do it. You, I know that the comments say, well, they're not flowed. Well, they're probably not flowed from the factory either. Um, will some of these aftermarket companies flow them for you? Sure. Will some of them take your used shit, cut it down, put it all back together and not replace anything? Also sure. So you don't really know what you're getting anyway. But uh, I'm totally confident in building my 160cc injectors, and that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, that'll be another video after the holidays whenever the parks show up i'm stuck waiting on the o-rings and we're in the middle of a it's six degrees outside right now and 40 mile an hour wing gusts so and thankfully i still have power and heat anyway uh merry christmas guys this is the last video for me before the holidays before we go to florida so i thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time on driveway engineer